Hey everybody, G Bear here. Yeah, I got a little project going here. Um, since I put that TV out in the shed out in the desert and uh, the little antenna wasn't picking up anything, I decided to build an antenna. So here's my antenna that I built. I've got it on a piece of one inch pipe right now. Uh, that's just a piece of pipe from a chain link fence, but uh, I just wanted to make sure that it mounted properly. Anyway, I uh, researched the internet and I got some information on building an antenna and I built this completely out of scrap uh, metal that I had laying around except for the screen on the back side. That's called a deflector panel. The deflector panel I got from a friend, uh, a longtime friend. Uh, he had some of this from a cage that he built and uh, there was a little left over so I made myself a deflector panel out of it and I thank him for giving, giving that to me. Anyway, you can see my rack in the back there, and leaned up against the wall. Um, th but this uh, this antenna is supposed to have a 100 mile range, <clears throat> and the toughest part was finding this thing. It's called a ballon, B-A-L-U-N, and uh, it's actually a transformer. It's got uh, two little wire coils inside there. It converts. Uh, 75 watts to three, uh, 75 ohms to 300 ohms. Sorry, I caught myself there, and um, that's required to get a proper signal um, through an antenna. So uh, if you don't have one of those, you can't just hook the wires directly to the antenna. It won't work. So I uh, I knew I had some of those laying around, and I just happened to find this one in one of my drawers. It's a an RCA transformer VH54 that's a 75 to 300 and I found one other while I was searching around but anyway let me show you a little bit about this 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 part of the antenna these these two uh, zigzag wires going up uh, that is the VHF part of the antenna and this part they call it the hat you have one at the top and one at the bottom and that is no way connected to those other two that's completely separate but for some reason adding that allows you to pick up UHF channels also so if you have a VHF channel that's right on the border of a UHF um, that will allow it to come in crystal clear and uh, that's what I got from the information of the research I did and all of these distances uh, this is seven inches here seven inches here and these are 90 degree angles all of that stuff is important I, I, I can't stress that enough and then this is a 22 and a half degree angle and the gap between the two here has to be a quarter inch now all of the information I got online showed them trying to figure out a way of keeping these two from touching each other I had some of this insulator block that I um, used here so I made these little blocks and I drilled holes in there that fit tightly over the rods. And something about those rods, these rods come out of the inside of level or blinds. These are the control rods that run the mechanisms inside the level or blinds. Whenever I take a set down from a sliding doors or something, I get these six foot and eight foot long aluminum rods. I saved them and hey, suddenly they came in handy and you notice that they're they're not connected anywhere in the middle here except where the wire is uh, where the ballon is um, or a transformer whatever you want to call it here it says transformer on here but it is called a ballon in the uh, scientific sense so anyway um, the only other thing I'm going to change is I just have a screw holding this down right now but I have some little um, metal wire clips that I'm going to put on there that will hold that in place. They're designed for holding a coax cable down. And I think that would be better so that doesn't blow out in the wind. Anyway, I can't wait to test this thing out. Uh, it should be pretty uh, fun to do. And uh, this is supposed to give me a m maximum of 120 miles, good at uh, 100 miles. Oh, one other thing is... Uh, this little clamp right here is uh, a, an actual TV antenna clamp from a very old TV antenna that I got from uh, my friend Bill. It came off the roof of his house. 
and uh, I had to figure out a way of adapting it to work on here. So that's why I had to put that little crossbar in there because uh, otherwise it would want this antenna to mount as a one of those arrow type antennas that you see on roofs of houses. But uh, I modified it. I, I ground out the um, the metal in the center here so that it locks onto the center post here. And uh, it worked out just fine. This is all uh, the first time experiment. If this thing works, I will be built, building another one. Um, and out there in the desert, there's two different directions I can pick up uh, TV channels from. And uh, sometimes I have to go out there and turn the existing antenna so that I can pick up channels from the other direction. So if this one is a nice strong antenna and uh, I get all of the San Diego channels, um, I will make another one of these and then I'll mount two on the same post one above the other and I'll point one in each direction so that I can get all the channels. Anyway, G-Bear signing off.